Hello, everyone, and welcome to Dungeons and Dreamers. I'm Tiana, I'm the DM today, and I'm joined today by fantabulous people who've agreed to put up with me for a couple of hours. Say hi, guys. Hi, hi guys. Yeah. <laughs> You're a jerk, BB, and I love you. I love you, too. <laughs> um, yes, as, as you can see, we've all moved around from where we were last week. Last week, we were in uh, our, our Yonti's um, dream for for the week and today we are in the aarakocra monks dream so i'm excited to run them through this little adventure that i've i've put together uh we'll see we'll see what happens uh before we get started i've been asked to to read a little bit of a of an ad so give me a moment <clears throat> the mad house of tasha's kiss by jeff c stevens your adventurers enter a small village, empty of villagers except for one boy found sitting and weeping next to a jester's pageant wagon. The boy weeps while he says, My family and all the villagers went inside the wagon and haven't come out. Not me, though. I don't like clowns. The wagon is a portal to a pocket dimension leading to a brass door with the word Madhouse etched into it. What lays beyond the door? What madness could the adventurers face? Can they save the villagers or will they go mad trying? The Madhouse of Tasha's Kiss is a three to five hour adventure for a party of four to five characters of third through 10th level. Content warning, grim horror, horrific details, animal humanoids, available as a PDF or as a fantasy ground module, $4.95 and you can find it at dmsguild.com. There you go, y'all got to hear my commercial voice for a bit there. <laughs> Is that just about a clown dimension? That sounds terrible. Probably, and that, that's exactly what I would be expecting with that, like weird fun house vibes and all that sort of thing. So yeah, that sounds exciting. Ugh, I don't know if I'd want to play that. Really, Tiana? Really? Speaking speaking of exciting, let's segue into this uh, show. <laughs> speaking not, of great I'm one really, shots, I'm not really a fan of clowns. I'm not afraid of them, but I'm also not a fan of them, so I wouldn't go seeking them out. Let yeah, me I wouldn't make wanna, a note. Like, adventurous clowns. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to like hang out with a clown, but like I'm okay with them passively. <laughs> I, actually, I actually know I actually know some people who do clowning, so it's like Oh shoot. I take that back. I'm sorry to all the clowns in the stream. <laughs> I mean we're all also, clowns. Though, if you're walking out with clowns, why are you here? Oh snap. <laughs> Happy hard point. I like that Fair roast because it roasted everybody but me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm clearly some kind of clown. I mean you have got some great face paint going on today, Ernest. Yes, you do. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. All right, well, Glorious let's, golden boy. <laughs> let's go ahead and introduce everyone around so we can get this show on the road. And I'll start on on uh, my my left, which is Dragon Bait, if you want to lead oh, us off. Oh, good. Introduce, yes. introduce, introduce yourself briefly and your character, please. Hello, I am Dragon Bait. You can find me everywhere. I play Grandma Mabel Jean, and she likes to try and give people whiskey. <laughs> I mean, isn't, isn't that the best sort of thing to have? I guess so. Um, and I'll toss it over to Sullivan if you, yeah, go right ahead. I'm Sullivan Harris and I am playing Randy Pepper, 93 year old ex-military ripped shredded wizard fighter. Um, and here's something you need to know about Randy Pepper this week. Uh, <laughs> legally, he's not allowed within 50 feet of any tavern. Now also legally, he doesn't have to tell you why. <laughs> I thought he was 83. No, oh, no, no, no. That's way no. too young. <laughs> you see, <laughs> this man is so old. Death, death itself. Joke. Death itself has forgotten <laughs> about say, him. How old is he? <laughs> okay. What's the deal with old people? <laughs> we have two of them on the stream. Uh, that, that's what surprises me. Jerundi, it is, go ahead. Yeah. Insane Oof. coincidence. Um, yes, I'm playing uh, Pliskin, the Yuanti Eldritch Knight, who's dark, kind of past we uh, delved into in the last episode. Uh, hopefully uh, you'll see a bit of a lighter side of him uh, this episode. I, I imagine we will. And finishing off with Ernest. 
All right, I'm Ernest uh, on Twitter as Hollow Invective. Uh, I also play Heatcaster Bellows, the obnoxious Warforged Bard. Now I'm ready oh. to insult a statue and break things and <laughs> anything else. I mean, that, that may serve you well today. I hope breaking statues becomes our, like, group trope. <laughs> Gotta insult them first. Yeah. yeah, insult then break. <laughs> well, you also have to insult whoever's uh, is dream we're in because that's what we did last time as well. <laughs> Made it Order of operations well. is very important. You have to insult the statue and then break it. Right, and Pandas. insult the character. You know, whatevs. I mean, you know, as you do. All I right. Can take it. So let's, let's get, get started. Get um, so you guys have all been put to sleep magically by the Jinn, as was established last week by Jeremy's phenomenal monologue, and I'm really glad that I don't have to follow that shit. Because <laughs> if I had to follow that, mm, no thank you. Um, but you guys, you are standing in a long, narrow hallway, and what's, what's most interesting about it is how uninteresting it is. It looks like the hallway to any castle or keep that you may have been in. It is long, it is narrow, and it is smooth rock, top, bottom, sides. And the only thing then that you see is a double-sided door in front of you. I say, what a frightfully tedious corridor. <laughs> Has beige suburbia ever been a feeling or a motif? Because it's happening right now. Yeah, this place could use a little artist touch, if you know what I mean. Well, uh, given the lack of uh, visible alternatives, I suggest we uh, press on through the door. Yeah, I guess so. I'm not going to question it. All right, stand aside. <laughs> and then Pliskin steps up to steps up to throw open the door. All right. He cast her on the wall. Uh, <laughs> you write it? Uh, yeah, just like. <laughs> just, he just caster like, was here. Are, are you like yeah. drawing it in with your finger into the stone? Uh, more like my tinker's tools. I'm kind of just he caster. Might not get done by the time they open the door, but I'm trying. All right. <laughs> so so Pliskin goes down and throws. You, you throw open both double doors, just like yeah, uh, so. Aaron style. <laughs> 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 so. It, when, when you throw open the doors, you see this like bright open area in front of you. And then you don't see anything for a moment because your world tips as like the whole corridor just turns and drops you down very Alice in Wonderland style. Uh, and, and, and Heatcaster and his finger like drags along the wall. He <laughs> to say, he so so to says like, Heatcaster! <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> this is and, how you break a hip. <laughs> And all four of you come tumbling out into wide open air and uh, looking around, you are hundreds of feet above the ground. You are above some, some of the clouds and uh, they, uh, below you is this beautiful open area. You've heard Riri describe her homeland a couple of times and this looks like what she's described. It's. Uh, desert lands, it is high bluffs, it is these beautiful rock crop, rock outcroppings. But uh, the rock outcroppings are all very odd colors, which you notice in great detail because you're falling towards them right now. I take out my whiskey. If I'm going to die, I'm going to be drunk. <laughs> um, first, Randy goes, ah! <laughs> You've got the scream in there. I got the scream in. And but then he's going to cast a floating disc under himself. Uh which creates a circular horizontal plane of force three feet in diameter, one inch thick that floats three feet above the ground. Never mind, I don't think that works in the air. Not so much. Work in the air. Never mind, he doesn't do that. He just goes, Ah <laughs> Oh Jeez. Hey how far up are we? hundreds of feet easily seven to Fuck. to 800 feet cool as soon as i get to like 500 i will do a thing okay i will grab one companion <laughs> um Pl pliskin and heatcaster what are you guys doing as you're falling through the air um <laughs> pliskin is unbuttoning his tunic and trying to hold it open into some sort of makeshift wing or parachute <laughs> that's so pliskin <laughs> it's so pliskin uh. 
uh, Heatcaster is uh, looking through his bag and looking for, uh, you know, solutions to the problem. Like, mm, nope. It's very Looney Tunes as he drops things into the air. <laughs> uh, no, 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 mm, no. Uh, ah. And uh, he sort of like, you know, rivets a, uh, a sheet onto himself to uh, make a makeshift parachute. <laughs> So when when the two of you make like makeshift wings, you don't just like you, you, you don't like slow falling. You start actually flying. Oh, I say this is rather unusual. <laughs> uh, Randy Pepper starts flapping his arms like wings rapidly. And you too have acquired a fly speed. Ha! I'm a bird, guys! Everyone, I'm a bird! And he's just flapping like crazy. With those lats, I'm not, I can't say I'm surprised. <laughs> With those what? Lats, those lats like a bat. You could ah! flap them, you see. Thanks, Bliskin. I do You're work working. on my lats daily. You are immaculately toned. No rest day for the lats. I heard it served you well, clearly. I'd... Hey, Granny, start flapping. <laughs> I'm going to, um,. Yes, start flapping my arms. <laughs> so now all of you have a fly speed of 50. Woo! <laughs> faster than I walk. Yeah, I, I, I would remind you that you are in a flying creature's dream. Oh, I know. <laughs> so it made sense to give, yeah. Sky. Yeah, I guess that checks out. I can float twice Whee! as high. <laughs> <laughs> So now that you guys have stabilized in the air and are like flying, you know, you aren't able to hover because Aarakocras can't hover, but you're able to fly in like tight in circles and look around and actually get a bearing for what's going on. Um, Riri described her her desert home as being all like reds and browns with 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 some like darker blacks going on. These are not the colors that you see around you as you are flying hundreds of feet above the ground that she described. Um, do you remember the, the old Dr. Seuss book, Oh, How Far You'll Go? Sure. With, with, the, with like the, the stripes of oh, colors. Are you saying like, oh, the places you'll go? Yeah, that one. Okay, good. I was like, wait. I can't remember. I, I'm, I'm, I'm lost the title there. Sorry. It's fine. I can't remember the specific aesthetic. Oh, right. It's all, okay. All yeah, right. it looks it's like normal's that. Dr. Seuss crazy colors. <laughs> exactly, and that and that is exactly what you're huh. seeing as you're hovering above the ground. It, everything is a little bit off. Not enough to really disorient you, but enough to make you go, that ain't right. <laughs> that ain't how it should be. <laughs> Frankly, none of this is right. <laughs> just sort of fluffing his tunic. <laughs> I think the bird lady might have <laughs> taken some acid before she went under. <laughs> I uh, just I affix some strings to this sheet I've riveted to myself so I can actually turn. Nice. Ooh, okay. <laughs> nice. Uh, but 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 as you guys are looking around, you see oh. one rock outcropping that's higher than all the rest of them, and there's it's far enough away that you're not quite sure what's going on up there, but there seems to be like a flock of something flying around that that outcropping. I wonder if any seagulls are over there. <laughs> I'm gonna start mm. heading about Maybe. Why do you? I, why, why do you care about seagulls? I ran. I, I ran so flocks. far away from the seagulls the last time I went to the. Uh, mm. Last time I went to the beach, they were rather, rather rude. Um, nevertheless, yes, you press on towards away, the flock. You? I couldn't. I tried. Mm. I ran so far. Hmm. Don't do anything. Uh, anyway. <laughs> You can't outrun seagulls, Jerundu. They're 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 like they're like uh, rats. Hey, we no, we couldn't outrun seagulls. Now we have a flying speed of fifty. Thank you very much. And now we can. Fair point. Fair point. To so, seagulls. Um, are what, what, what are you guys doing? Heading towards the seagulls, apparently. I want to go where the party is. <laughs> yeah, All right. So I heard party. I like the sound of it. I mean, all those are... seagulls, and I didn't bring any chips. Mm. I have some whiskey. Maybe they'll take that. Would I have anything in my rations that is similar to chips that I can toss to Heatcaster? Sure. Yeah. You, 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 you've got a partially eaten potato in your rations. <laughs> I just like, I'm going to like, uh, you know, baseball pitch it 
straight at Heatcaster, and I'm gonna be like, "Here you go, buddy." Uh, I open, I open my mouth and catch it, and I Julian the the potato with my <laughs> with uh, the ridges of my teeth. I say, I say, was I was going your, your rations there. I was going to make you roll a dex check, but that's too cool. I'm not gonna make you now. <laughs> oh my! Roll a cool man. Roll a cool. Yeah. All right. So so as you guys are making your way in, in that direction, the landscape just kind. Of, the, the, the acid the acid uh, um, analogy was made, and it's not unlike that. Like things shift in weird ways. Like the land seems to be not quite alive, but not what you but not as still as you expect it to be. Should not have taken like that waves. drug. Yeah, a little a little bit like that, or or it moves in like a very slow heartbeat. Oh. Just means you haven't taken enough of it. <laughs> I will take your experience in, into that because I have actually never done acid. So, I'll have you know that was entirely within character. Um, <laughs> I don't. Believe the views Randy of Christian has... <laughs> do not re- uh, not uh, reflected in the views of Gerundu. The uh, <laughs> Randy has done so much acid that realistically he should have advantage on every check involving <laughs> this place. Fair enough. Speaking of checks, though, as you guys are, are are making your way through, I'd like everyone to make me a perception check, please. Okay. Okay. What is my perception? I got a 12. Oh, plus zero. <laughs> That's an eight. M? Seven. M? It's the eye patch. Ah, oh. two. It's a two? Wow, I did not think two. a 12 would be the best roll. I didn't either. All right, so as you guys are, are, are making your way there, you get kind of a sense that things aren't right, but everything is kind of just wrong here. So you're not sure that any of that anything unusual, there's anything unusual about that. Do you need to know what we actually got on the die? Not on this one. Okay, good. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I knew I would forget. No, no, I, 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 I had that. I had that. Bad in, Sullivan, bad. <laughs> I had that in the front of my mind and was like, no, not on checks. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, are we, can we like make out what the creatures are more so now that we're getting closer? You're getting a little bit close. You're, you're getting closer, but whatever it is looks, it, it's small, whatever it is. So it's not like giant eagles or anything flying around it, but it could be anything from a raven to a bat or somewhere in between. Heatcaster, I think you're all right. I think we might have to fight some seagulls. I didn't bring any duck fat to fry these chips. Hmm. Oh, I can take care of that. <laughs> oh God! Fire! Uh, Randy is going to cast Burning Hands, and uh, he's gonna like do a little hand gesture, but like not quite cast it yet. And he's gonna be like, "Toss it in there, heat caster. I'll light it up." Okay, I will spit all of the uh, Julian uh, potato back at you. Yes. <laughs> Uh, and then I'm gonna attempt to shoot it with my burning hands. You're gonna fall out of the <laughs> out of the sky without flying your wings. So when 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 Heatcaster tosses the these Julian fries, not only do they not fall, but they hover like right in between your hands. Oh, perfect! I shoot them. Fire! <laughs> and and you shoot them, and your burning hands go off. I, I shoot it, like to the sides of them a little bit, so it gives it a nice cook, you know? Like a, sure. It's like I aim it like that. Not frazzled, just like, Gosh. just so. Yeah, the perfect Chris. Is, is, oh, anyone, with, is anyone in front of you? Uh, <laughs> good question. I mean, he rolled that 12, how would he know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> he rolled the best perception out of everyone in the group, so I think he would know better than the rest of the group. I mean, I certainly would not know. I'm still thinking I, about seagulls. Don't know if I would know either with a seven. 15 foot cone. I would say maybe heat caster again. No, he, no, 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 heat caster would be like to the side of you to toss them in. So I well, know. I'll tell, I'll tell you what. Pliskin is excited at the prospects of getting f- fries and also doing something cool. So he's like swooping in with his whip to try and whip one of the fries out of the air and then pull <laughs> it back to eat it. Wow. <laughs> finesse. That's so, why they call it a finesse weapon. Absolutely. You know? So yeah, the, the the burning hands go off, and these are perfect fries, and 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 they, and, and they land in, in like a little um, basket. 
Pliskin, remember back in the the war when we all we'd have was potatoes in my hands? <laughs> Absolutely, old boy. <laughs> Wait, how old, how old is Pliskin? I'm very confused. He's like he was a junior officer in in the army, so he's like twenty five. Sullivan should have been retired by then, but whatever. He <laughs> was a million years old wizard. Randy doesn't retire. Randy uh, just keeps trucking. Different and, rules and, for wizards. And I mean, so, honestly, in 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 a fantasy world where where oh, humans yeah. live super long, you know, no, it's, it's just one of those bad. things that I was like, is Pliskin also a really old man, and I just didn't know it. Have you seen what I can do with just my hands? I think I can handle myself in the military. I'm going to leave that statement right there. Is anyone retrieving the, well, the threat? Uh, usually the we try to avoid handling no, ourselves in I'm, the military. I'm uh, just <laughs> laughing towards the thing. Uh, you know, if, uh, if the fries are collectible, I've got to give them to the seagulls. You know, they're, 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 they're in a nice little basket, but you're nowhere near the seagulls at the moment. Oh, well. We also oh, have no. not determined that they're actually seagulls yet. <laughs> There's that. Nope, it's, uh, nope uh, you know, I'm just waiting for them. I will say they are delicious. Uh... <laughs> All right. So once so once you guys have have cooked up these fries, you're getting closer to to that uh, mountain to high high hilltop. Um, and as you guys are like banking around and try to get a, to try to get a, a vision of what's going on, the air flexes around you, and um. right in the middle of of your party appears uh, two horses that are just sort of standing there. Um. Hello, horses. Can I touch and, it? Huh? Can I touch you don't, it? Uh, let me describe these horses. <laughs> before I, you... I feel like Granny would still try to touch them. <laughs> she not gonna might. Be honest. <laughs> she might. They're on fire. <laughs> these are enormous black horses with, with sharp ass hooves. And yes, their manes and tails are fire. Sharp hooves? Mm-hmm. Yikes. They look like horses. Mm. They might uh, not be horses, uh, and and on each of their backs is a a, a lady, mm. and standing next to each of them with, with with a hand on their flank is another lady, and then and, and as they pop into existence, everyone is just hovering, then turns and looks at the four of you with these very toothy grins. Would you like uh, some whiskey? <laughs> whiskey. Yes. We don't drink whiskey. Cool. Ah, so you're more of a scotch lady. Yeah. <laughs> scotch. I had a human's blood who drank scotch. Ah, it was blood delicious. Drinkers. <laughs> I think they're like vampires or some <laughs> shit. Um, I'm going to Eldridge Blast. <laughs> Well, He's unfortunately, unfortunately, yeah. because everyone failed their perception checks, roll for initiative. Damn. Woo! <laughs> okay. Oh my God, that was almost a natural one. <laughs> That's a oh, fault. I rolled it off the table, but that was a 14 plus. Uh, for 18. Give me a moment. If you'd be so kind, sir, to give me a moment. Nah. Yes. <laughs> I shall think about it. Oh, this means we have to stall. Um, oh, yes. So not scotch. <laughs> what, you like uh, rum? Oh, my God. Tequila? Ooh. Good. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know any more drinks? <laughs> you margarita oh lady? Oh my Vodka. God. Well, I mean, maybe we could settle this at a fine restaurant, and, uh, you know, over a, over a nice meal, a bottle of Chianti or something. Dragon bait, what'd you get? 21. Ooh. Gra Grandma got good rolls. I guess so. Um, who, 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 who came in next after 21? I got 18. Okay. And after that? I got a seven plus five, so a twelve. Okay. Uh, Ernest, did you get any, did you get higher than that? No, I got a four. I'm clearly not worried because I don't have blood. <laughs> <laughs> You're point. not wrong. So we all run and we let uh, Heatcaster take care of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
we go to the ground and just watch. You got this, Potter. It's great. You're doing great. <laughs> All right, so top of the count, Dragon Bait, lead us off. Guess what, Eldritch Blast, two blasts. What? All right, what, what are you aiming at? The lady? Okay. The lady that was like, oh, I've had a human drink, whatever she said. I drank a human's blood that drank Yes, scotch. that one. <laughs> I'm going to hit, hit her twice, hopefully. You're gonna hit her what? Twice. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Good old coming through. Twice. Twice. Uh, so 17 and 25. Okay. What are the bases on those? Uh, 10 and 18. Thank you. All right. Uh, you hit with, with, with both of those. Sweet. Uh, give me one second. First Thanks, one, oh, it's five points of damage. Second one, fucking six points of damage. God damn it. <laughs> um, he, he, he. I don't, Tiana. Yes? You can't just Sorry. go tee he, he at me after I hit them. Pretty how much, how, how much damage did you do? It was five and then six, so 11. Thank you. Um, and then also, Roll me a uh, 3d4 and tell me the result. 3d4? Okay, I'm glad I have three of these out already. Ooh. Okie dokie. Uh, so, four. Thank you. Tiana. <laughs> so when 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 Granny shoots out these two Eldritch Blasts at, uh, at, the, at the flying lady, um, she she expects that to be the end of her attack, uh, but on the second Eldritch Blast, three magic missiles come shooting out of her finger as well, and also hit the lady, surprising everyone involved. What? Well done, Granny. Hey. <laughs> I didn't do How that. How did you do that? <laughs> I Most don't... impressive. Well, listen, I'm pretty impressive. <laughs> Up next is, is uh, Gerundu. Ah, uh, well. Plissian is going to uh, evaluate the situation uh, in short order and cast Mage Armor on himself. <laughs> Good idea. This, uh, this seems wise. In addition to that, he's going to draw his uh, his flame tongue rapier and speak the command word, which is Scorcher, which uh, causes it to uh, the flame to arouse the blade, so to speak. Okay. I have a little bit of Silas crept in there, I'm sorry. Yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. All no, right. This is an entirely separate character. It's true. Uh, so that is your action, your bonus action. Do you want to do anything else? You are all quite close to, to, to these things, just, just so you're aware. Like, mm -hmm. you, you've all stopped and are, like, moving around, but you're, you're all within reasonable range of these things. I imagine Granny's a little ways back, so because, I mean... She's still slower than the rest of them. I'm also um, no not to get into in the way of some crazy spell that I might do. It's true. It's very true. All right, up next is Sullivan. Uh, okay, so Randy Pepper, uh, another fun fact, hates vampires. Uh, so he's just gonna scream, not this time! And uh, he's going to cast Shadow Blade at second level. Um, so he just kind of like punches his fists together and when he brings them apart this like huge purple spectral sword appears um, and he's going to activate his fighter ability of I don't know what the heck it's called was it called second no action surge action he's gonna surge. action surge it and he's gonna run for it and he's just gonna swing it at the closest one uh, casting the cantrip booming blade as part of the attack okay yeah all right, roll me some attacks. Natural attack 20. There. That's called the Randy Pepper Swing. Well done. The patented Randy Pepper Swing. Yes, I know it well, the Randy Pepper Swing. <laughs> <laughs> right. I called it the Pepper Mill once. <laughs> <laughs> I did. He did not like that. No. He got very I mad did. at you for it. Sure, he yep. didn't. 
Um, all right, so give me some damage on that one. And also, are you attacking the the same harpy that uh, Granny uh, attacked, or are you attacking someone else? Uh, I was just going for whatever's closest, so I'll leave that to your so discretion. It's a harpy. Okay. Um, so what now? So it's a harpy. Anyway. So it does uh, three <laughs> D eight of psychic damage. So that's twelve psychic damage, and uh, on a hit, the target suffers the attack's normal effects, and it becomes sheathed in booming energy until the start of my next turn. If the target willingly moves before then, it immediately takes a D eight of thunder damage. Okay. So if that one moves, it's going to take an extra D eight. All right. So you did twelve points damage. of damage. Yeah. All right, and. For for a moment after after the magnificent spell work, you feel a little bit nimbler, perhaps. Oh wait, oh wait, I have another thing. As a fighter, I also have a thing. What is Hold your thing? Uh, I, I, it's a really good thing called dueling, so I get plus two to that damage roll, so fourteen damage. Excellent, thank you. I almost forgot about it. How dare, how dare, sir? I know, I'm a, I'm just an amateur. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is that everything for you? Um, as a bonus action, he is going to reach into his pocket to make it look like he's reaching for a gun. That's it. That's his okay. Turn. <laughs> I say cool. he's got a gun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it is now uh, the ladies' turns, and uh, the one closest to um, Pliskin is, is is going to make a multi-attack on oh you, dear. sir. Oh dear. Uh, that is an 18 to hit. Uh, yes, that, that'll do the job. <laughs> One, so that is uh, five points of damage, slashing damage to you. You gads. <laughs> So she she just like slashes her her claws across your chest, which is bared because your tunic is open, and That's then right. follows it up seconds later with a club. Oh, my goodness me! That's a nat twenty to hit. Ooh. Oh well, that, oh dear, oh, that, that doesn't hit. That doesn't hit at all. Uh, what? What? That doesn't hit. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> uh, but that is also five points of damage because it's a one d four normal. So there you go. I say, so, there's no call for this at all. Is there not? Is there not? Okay. No. Um, I extended an invite to dinner. <laughs> she didn't want dinner, clearly. <laughs> um, and the, the the second one is going to look over at uh, Randy Pepper, and she is going to uh, sing a magical melody. Everyone, make me a wisdom saving throw, please. Am I good at these? Uh, I don't know. Oh, wisdom saving. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. That's an well. 18, but I also have advantage against spell saving throws against spells and other magic effects. Nice. I got four plus so, yeah. two equals six. Okay. An 18. 18 for. Uh, yeah, Plus flat eight, flat eighteen. Eleven. Come, okay. and uh, he cast her. Two. <laughs> you have it. You have advantage from the chat. Oh. Oh yeah, you can spend that if you want. Do you it. Do that. it. <laughs> Might want to do that. Oh, not twenty. Nice. Yes. Yes. Well done. So, Randy Pepper. That's me. The one Terribly and only. sorry, mate. Uh, you you are charmed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, I love vampires. <laughs> oh no. While while charmed, you are incapacitated and ignore any other songs. Uh, if you are more than five feet away, you must move toward her, toward her by the most direct route. Must so be. okay. You have you have to stick close to her, and I mean you're charmed, so you can't attack her. Wait, is this the one that I just attacked, or is this a different one? Uh, this is the one that, that you just attacked. Well, so question, would my giant booming sound wave that's coming out of her affect how we get her singing at all? Currently, um, there's just booming sound erupting from where I hit her. Well, there's there, there's vibrating energy around her from the booming blade. The boom doesn't come until she moves. Oh, okay. All right. Wow. Fair wow. Enough. 
All right. So that is her turn. And uh, the third one. I can't believe one... I saved. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly can't believe you did either. But, you well, know, I'm, cool. I'm, I'm cool with it. Uh, this one is, is, is going to jump off the, the, the back of the big old horse and come flying at Heat Wave to uh, make a multi attack on her. On him, excuse me. Heat Wave? What? You cast her, did you mean? Uh, no, no, there's yeah, a person named Heat Wave. They're over there. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm trying to keep five things ju- juggled all at the same time. <laughs> and Your names is one of them. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I know, no, no, I know. I know, I know, I know. You know, you know, I was, you know. I was here last week. Don't worry about it. It's fine. That is a nat one on that attack. So the claws awesome. just like fly right over Heatcaster's head. And. That's not gonna hit either. So yeah, this 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 lady comes flying at you with big like bat wings flying out to the side, Ugh. and she tries to claw at you and smack you with a club, and it just just not connecting, and she just lets out this. You crazy and canker sore. You can't even hit me. <laughs> uh, and the fourth and final one is it is going to sing again. Is going to sing as well. So everyone except uh, Randy Pepper, make me a wisdom saving throw. So now that I know this is uh, that's, a, that's a three, so it's a good job I got advantage on those. Yeah, since uh, I know it's being charmed, I also get advantage for being a half elf. Oh, apologies. No, no, you're fine. That's a thirteen. <laughs> yeah, thirteen as well. Mm-hmm. Not twenty. <laughs> All, all of you succeed. Well done. And not even up, in bloody tune. <laughs> up next is 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 a heat caster. What would you like to do, sir? You decaying, wrinkled witch. Um, hey. Jesus. Go- <laughs> 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 I am uh, going to uh, cast. Uh, what is it? Uh, hideous laugh. Nice. Okay. Creature your choice, then you can see within range. You can see everything is hilariously funny and falls into fits of laughter if the spell affects it. All right, what I'm is the wisdom saving throw? Wisdom saving throw, thank you. Uh, that is a six, so I think she fails on that one. Yep. Uh, at the end of each of its turns, and each time it takes damage, target making another wisdom saving throw. All right. Uh, they fall prone, becoming incapacitated uh, with laughter. Well, it's a little bit different when it's a yeah. blind critter. It, yeah, it, it, but yeah, she's she's not quite uh, not quite cognizant of what's going on. Just laughing so hard that was the funniest damn thing she's ever heard in her life. Look at you laughing at yourself. <laughs> nice. And up next are the two horses. Oh, we're fighting the horses too? Nay, god damn it. <laughs> Nay? Oh, that that hurt me. That hurt me deep. Just deep. Um <laughs> so the 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 horses, let me see. Yeah, they're they're smart enough to not go after the person who is charmed. Uh so they're they're they're, they're gonna take like a, a hoof uh a hoof action. God, you guys are chatty. Sorry, it's <laughs> technically just Adam and I. <laughs> um, rear, rear, rears up and, and, and begins just like uh, hoving at uh, Pliskin. Not my Why? grandson. <laughs> uh, that's not gonna hit you. Nine does not hit you, I imagine. Nope, 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 nope. My goodness, all of my dice are gonna go into jail after this today. <laughs> So that is that one's turn, and its friend um, winks out of existence. <laughs> Thank Goodbye, God, Wilson. well that's that problem taken care of. Top of the lineup, Granny. Okay. I am going to, uh, how far away are they from me? Probably away, um, aren't they? They're, they're, they're a bit of a ways, yeah. Say within 50 to 60 feet. Cool beans, so I can't do that. All right, I'm you also gonna... have a fly speed of fifty. You can. Get I don't want to get closer. I'm a caster only. What are you talking <laughs> about? Fair point. Um, I'm going to um shoot out a fire bolt. Okay. Mm, at at uh one of the harpies or yes. something else. 
one of the I've, 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 already, I've already spilled the beans on it being harpies. So one whatever. of the harp harps. Harp harps. Harp harp. Harp a derp a derp derp. That is a twenty-one to hit. And the base on that is fourteen. Okay. Uh, you hit with authority. Roll me some damage. Okay, give me good numbers, please. Not great. Okay, uh, nine points of damage. Nine. nine. And I will move a little bit closer. Not a lot, just a Help little me, bit. Honey. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> all right. Is there anything else that you would like to do? That is all I can do. All right, Pliskin. So. I've got a, what, a happy and a horse up in my grill at the moment? All, all of all up in your grill. Okay, well, well the happy's going to taste my steel, my flaming steel. Uh, I'll lash out with the flame tongue rapier. All right, make that attack. That is a 17 plus 7, 24. To all right. Which is a D8, which is a 1. Plus six, seven, plus two D six fire. Uh five. So that was uh twelve damage total. Twelve? Also, can you roll me four D six? Uh Ooh. yeah. Four 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 and three. I was gonna laugh if it was another four. <laughs> Me too. So, yeah, like 15. damn. 15. All right. So as you come swinging through with 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 this with this flaming sword, um, you you feel like you you were able to catch her by surprise and do a ridiculous amount of extra damage. You carve through her, and the pieces go just like <laughs> flying off in multiple directions, fall, starting to fall to the ground. Uh, I'm sorry. I guess we'd have to reschedule dinner. And then with, with the second attack, it turns and faces the uh, the horsey. All right, get the horse. Now perhaps we'll have some horse on the menu today. And that's a horse. five plus seven, so it's a 12. 12 misses. 12 misses, lunges past the, uh, the horse flesh. All right. Anything else? Uh, I could action surge, but I'll save it just in case. Fair enough. All right, um, Randy Pepper, your turn. Wait, okay, who did Pliskin just slice through? Uh, not, not, not the one that has you charmed. Not the one that has me charmed. So one right. or the other. And there's, was there three of them or was there two of them? There's two, right? There's, one there's, horses. there's, there's a, well, there were two horses and now one of them seems to be gone. And there were four of the flying ladies oh. and now one of them is missing. Okay. okay. So I'm gonna use my movement to get as close to the lady as I possibly can, which is I think I'm right next to her anyway. Um, and then also, what? where's the closest one to me other than her? Uh, the closest one to you is is uh, the one that um, Granny shot at. And how far away is that? Uh, she's about 10 feet away. Okay, and what? can I not do anything if I'm charmed, or do I have to... So if you're charmed, you, uh, the, the, the charm effect really only works on the one that charmed you. Mm -hmm. So like I can, I saw my full turn. I just have let me to, let, let, let me double check the, the lady. let me double check the charmed condition. Let's uh, someone play the charmed condition theme song. <laughs> it's the charm condition. Oh, it has dear. various effects. Let's find <laughs> out what they are because we don't know. A charmed I'm a human and I need to be loved. A charmed <laughs> creature. No one else. No. A charmed creature can't attack the charmer or target the charmer with harmful abilities or magical effects. So you can't hurt the one that has you charmed, but everyone else is fair game. Okay, cool. So Randy's going to be like, hey, sweetheart, uh, <laughs> I know I said I don't like vampires, but that was a little bit of a fib. I'll make an exception for you. And he holds out his arm for her to suck it. Uh, mm -hmm. And then he also at the same time is going to cast lightning lure as a cantrip on the one that's 10 feet away from him. So with his other hand, he creates a lash of lightning energy that strikes at one creature of my choice, so it's the one lady, and uh, they have to make a strength saving throw. A strength saving throw, you say? All right. 
Uh, that is an eight. I don't think that's going to succeed. No, it does not. So uh, he's going to be like, I may like you, but I don't like your friend still. So he shoots this lasso of lightning at this lady and pulls her uh, 10 feet towards him. So she's right next to him. And as soon as she's within five feet, she takes one D8. Or actually, 2d8 of lightning damage because I am above level five. At this or level, I am yes. Level five as a wizard. Roll uh, me uh, th- them 2d8s. That is 12 lightning damage. Nice. And this is not the one that's laughing. I have no idea. <laughs> Wait, was that a question or was that a statement? I, it, it was a statement. I was okay. filling it in my mind just because when when we don't have roll twenty, it's hard for me to keep track of who has what. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. then I I I just move my the lightning whip arm back to her and I say, "You could you could take a little suckle out of my arm if you want." <laughs> so, the one the one who has you charmed just looks at you with this horrified look and, as a bonus action, continues her song. Um, okay. <laughs> And then and then and then just sort of shrugs and and uh, let's see, are you worth keeping charmed? Maybe not because you're because you're still wreaking <laughs> havoc. So, uh, so but she's 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 gonna whirl on you and, and multi-attack with claws and club. Oh, which means I believe that you're able to make that save again. Oh, okay. Your love. Oh, darling. Um, I got a thirteen plus two on the save, so fifteen. On that, you succeeded that time. Well done. Um, that is a 19 to hit you. Yep, that does it. <laughs> uh, for seven points of slashing damage. Howie. Howie. <laughs> <laughs> and then a wow. two on the on the club. So she she like reacted by slashing her clear claws across you, but couldn't mm-hmm. quite stick the club because she was like discombobulated that you had just managed to break free of her. So discombobulated that she hits me in my chain link reinforced pants. Yep. Uh, So fun fact, Randy is no longer charmed by her, but he is still charmed by her. So he is going to be like, ah, tough love, I see. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I love it. All right. So the one that is afflicted by Tasha's hideous laughter can't do anything because she is incapacitated. Um, and then the last one is is going to fly up on Pliskin and try to do what her sister couldn't and uh, dispatch, dispatch this gentleman. All right, so that is a nine to hit. That's not gonna hit. And an 11 to hit. I don't suppose an 11 hits, does it? Do you want to do? Uh, yeah, uh, no, it doesn't. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to make a joke. Are you all right over there, buddy? <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, notifications. Go away. Oh, I, I get that. Um, Heatcaster, it is now your turn. Okay. Uh, so there's, there's one vampire left, is that correct? No, there's there's yeah. three. So there's three one one, one, one is one, uh, two of them are, are injured. One of them is laughing in a most hideous manner. Hey, you tallow-faced, onion-eyed wench. Hey! <laughs> Wait, so do I still have the two on either side of me at this point? As yeah. I, uh, <laughs> nice. As I, as I cast um, vicious, uh, vicious, uh, vicious Mockery on uh, a different vampire. All right. Which one Which one would you like to go after? Uh, the injured one who is not laughing. Okay. And do I need to make a save on that? Yes. Uh, yes, it's a wisdom saving game. Okay, that's a base four. And she doesn't have any actual wisdom. So, four it is. All right. <laughs> Vicious Mockery, how much damage? They will take... Oh, nice. Uh, six psychic damage. All right. Ooh. All right. Uh, the two who are not laughing look about equally damaged, for your information. Um... And the, the, the horsey that is up on Pliskin is, is going to do another another hoof attack. Poor Pliskin. <laughs> Oof. That's going to be a 25 to hit. Jesus. Oof. I, 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 no. No. <laughs> no? No, I just barely missed it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was just no. No. Yeah, you forgot about my 30 AC. No, yes, of course that hit. <laughs> 
30 <laughs> AC. Is that how this works? Uh, yeah, that is 15 damage total. Jesus wept. All right. <laughs> did he now? He did when he saw the state of Pluskin's tailoring. Oh, no. What? Um, and the other one seems. It's Shudik. The other one seems to still be missing. Not quite sure where that one went. So, top of the lineup, Granny. Okay. It's hurting my grandson. Um. Oh, man. Can I get to Pliskin? Oh, yeah. Very easily with, with with your 50 fly speed. And remember, we're working in three dimensions, so you can fly under and, and do, and do yeah. things from below. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I... The great and powerful granny. <laughs> Do not make me spit my drink. <laughs> I'm going to fly over and then put my hands on the horse. Okay. And cast shocking grasp. Ooh. Do well. That would be a 17. All right. What's the what's the base on that one? Ten. Okay. You uh, hit. Roll me some damage. Cool. I need my other d8. Ooh. Uh, eleven points of damage. All right. To, to this ding dang horse. <laughs> ding dang. You, you you had to pick up Adam's phrase because he's not here to say it. Actually, that's my phrase. Adam got it for me. <laughs> Okay. Ding dang dang. <laughs> ding dang dang. <laughs> um, and then I will. I guess I'll just stay there because I can't do anything else. All right. Uh, Pliskin, your turn, sir. Um, Pliskin's gonna try and mount this um this horse and uh, ride it into battle. Turn it against the uh, harpies. Classic Pliskin. Classic. Like, ha ha! Then throwing himself up into this, into the saddle, sort of thing. Animal handling. Say hey, what again? Animal handling. I mean, it's probably an evil horse creature. Yeah, but. <laughs> I mean, you're assuming it's actually a horse and not just sort of. Well, it's a figment of uh, Ruby's imagination, so you know. Oh no, you're not wrong. <laughs> that's that's true. Give me animal handling or persuasion, whichever is higher for you. Let's have a look. Keep in mind, this is oh, going to be a pretty high DC. Okay, persuasion. Yeah, <laughs> I, I only buy one. Uh, let's say 17. Son of a bitch. <laughs> All right. Make no. it. Classic Pliskin. <laughs> Classic <laughs> So you fling yourself up onto this, and I want to emphasize, this is not the size of a normal horse. This would be considered a large creature. You fling yourself up onto this large creature and like reach for a bit of its fur at the, at the nape of its neck, and somehow it doesn't hurt you, and you're able to like turn it. You're gonna nice. have to make persuasion tracks fairly frequently in That's order fine. to keep it from throwing you and trampling you. Bye, Pliskin! Finally, Ponyta. Pliskin Indeed. looks absolutely immaculate, like a perfect vision of heroic like, <laughs> posture and with his flaming him. sword on this giant horse with a flaming mane. Until Just, this horse kicks you. It looks like a movie poster. <laughs> yeah. I really I really want to see fan art of that. I really do. That sounds amazing. <laughs> All right. Up next. Up next. Uh, do you have anything else you'd like to do, uh, Jorendu? Um, I don't know realistically what else I could do. I think can I could convince this thing to charge one of the harpies? Well, that'd be my next turn. I that'd guess be your I, next turn, I think. Yeah, I've or, done a skill I'll, check, haven't I? So that kind of ends my let's, turn. Let's say this then. Um, on its turn, you'll 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 make another persuasion check to to see if 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 it turns on you or if you or if you can turn it at the harpies. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> be interesting. All right, Randy Pepper. What would you like to do? You yeah. have two two harpies right next to you. Yeah. Um, Randy Pepper is going to turn to the one that had previously charmed him and is is still currently charming him, but not in the magical sense. He's going to be like, "Lady, my heart has been torn for the last three seconds between my two true loves. You 
And and then he does a backflip. And uh, when he's like perfectly in the middle of the air doing his backflip, like at the top of the arc, he casts Misty Step as a bonus action um, and teleports himself 15 feet uh, away from them. And then when he lands, he screams, I've chosen fire! And then he casts Burning Hands at third level <laughs> in a cone at both of them. Uh, so they have to make a deck save. Excellent. What is the, what is the DC on that? 14. All right. That is a 12. Yes. And a 13. Ha ha, I get them both. Full you damage. Both. So they both take 5d6 of Oof. fire damage. Burning hands at that level is kind of It absurd. is. Yeah, it's so they, they, they both take 18 fire damage. All right, so one of the harpies, the one, the one who had you charmed, uh, just shrieks as she as she goes up in flame. Pieces of bat wing and clothes flying in, in every direction. The other one is just like limping through the air. She's got holes through it through her wings and looking very upset. She's hanging on by a thread, but she's still up. Randy Pepper turns to the camera and says, "I've had worse breakups." Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I love this. All right. Um, anything else from you, sir? All nope. right. <laughs> so it is the harpy's turn. The one that is just like fluttering in, in the air, just like shrieks and then does like a kamikaze run at you. Uh, with, we'd uh, love to see it. Claws and club going. <laughs> uh, that is a 15 to hit. Does a 15 hit you? 15 does not hit. And a nat 20. Yeah, that's, that hits Randy Pepper. A little bit, a little bit. But, it, but it's the club, so it's less damage. Uh, that is eight points of bludgeoning damage. Pathetic. That was in character. <laughs> I figured. So yeah, she comes at you and tries to like rake at you, but her balance is off because most of her wings are gone. But, but, but as she's falling through it, she's able to turn it into a swipe with the club and get you upside the head. Oh. And Ow. <laughs> And the one who's laughing is still incapacitated, so she ain't doing anything. Um, up next is uh, Heatcaster. All right. Uh, I look at one of the vampires and I kind of just gently whisper, no one's ever going to love you, as I use uh, dissonant whispers. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. So, 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 uh, so this is the one that, that that's up on Randy Pepper and just looks yeah. like awful. All right, yeah. do, I need, do I need to make a save on that? It's Dissonant Whispers? Yep, uh, it is a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> Y'all keep keep targeting the wisdom stuff. We don't like this. <laughs> That's what happens? 12. So I don't think that nope. makes it. So how much damage? Nine, uh, 19 uh, psychic damage. All right, so as you whisper this little tendril of thought in, into, into her ear from a distance, she like shivers and shakes. And then uh, she just lets out this, this ghastly pained howl as uh, parts, of, parts of her head just explode outwards and she drops like a stone. Told there's, you. No, there's only <laughs> one of them left and it is the one that is currently incapacitated with laughter who hasn't been touched yet other than the laughter. <laughs> Who needs to touch when you got the laughter? It's it's true. All right, it is now the uh, the giant fire horsey's turn. Jerundu, can you make me another persuasion check, please? Yeah. Uh, Seventeen again. Twelve. Yeah. Five. Yeah, you are able to to convince it to go and like trample on uh, the harpy. That's that's like Bucephalus. in the air. Syphilis. Bucephalus. Uh, Bucephalus. Bucephalus. Okay. <laughs> okay. I've, Cephalus, I, have not, I haven't had a well. syphilitic ride for, for many a year. Um, oh, no. no, this is Bucephalus. Oh, one time, there was that one time your nose almost fell off. Wait, that's just being you. Wait. Oh goodness. I mean, there was there was that girl in Charles. Um, what? No, 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 no. You're thinking of that that one time I learned how to cast the spell nose fall off. <laughs> <laughs> I've never right. been. Right. Oh, I guess. Mm, I've never been one for noses, really. Um, so Pliskin yes, ri so. rides this flaming horse over over to the the flailing harpy, who's just flailing in midair. And I mean, this this this, this uh, uh, creature just like rears up and stamps on her with both hooves, 
and Ooh. lands the shot. Let's see how much damage this does. Ah. Dear God, that's a lot of dice. Yeah, that was that was a handful. Yeah, uh, that is seventeen points of damage. Damn. Wow. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> He's patting his neck. And that's its turn. Um, Granny, it's your turn. Top of the okay. lineup. Um, am, am I within 120 feet of that that harpy? Oh, yes. Comfortably. Cool. cool. I'm going to shoot two Eldritch Blasts at her. Get her. Hopefully. Uh, 16. Okay, that hits. And 21. Uh, that also hits. What's the base of the 21? Uh, 14. Okay. Roll me some damage, my dear. Yes. Oh, fuck me. Okay. 11 for one and then six for the other. All right. Uh, 17. Yeah. She is just hanging on by a thread at this point as well. <laughs> Uh, Pliskin, if you would like to stay on the back of this critter, I need you to make me another persuasion check, please. Oh, that's a 10. <laughs> I rolled a five plus five, 10. Okay. Um, it's not gonna throw you uh, just yet, but it's, it's, defi- it's, def- it's definitely like shuffling under your weight and not at all happy about this and is like actively working against you. Okay. So what would you like to do? Uh, I would like to uh, lean from the saddle and stab at this remaining thing, I guess. Oh. Crikey. All right. Uh, roll me an attack, please. Uh, three plus seven, ten. That's going to miss. That's pretty crappy, so I get two attacks per action. Six, oh, uh, for, that, for that three, though, roll uh, that three. Hold on a second. Oh, no. Hmm. Okay. Oh no! Uh, what, do, do I need to roll something else? Or? Uh, not 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 for that one. No. Uh, okay. Go ahead and roll, and roll me that second attack. <laughs> that, makes, that makes me nervous. Uh, so fifteen plus seven, twenty-two. All right. So what we got here? In the box. That's Neat. One d eight plus six. That's eleven plus two d six. Uh, one and four is sixteen damage. All right, so wow. that that one is just wiped off the map. It's gone and just like falling in pieces all over the place. But uh, two things happen at the same time. Or I I, I can see it. I'm just ignoring it. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Sorry. It's okay. So two things have it happen at once. First off, um, you feel, well, I guess it doesn't, well, I, I think it does matter because the, the critter is still around. So you lose the ability to, to make uh, bonus actions for, for, um, for a round. Okay. But also you go into a rage <gasps> for two rounds. <laughs> Jesus. That's pretty right. good for skin. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So that so ends my turn, I think, really. As, as you go, as you fly into a rage, what is this like? <laughs> ah, I just still sat on this horse. Swing He's got horse around. fever. I hate this bloody horse. Why am I sat on this horse? Ah! Yeah, Randy Pepper, it's it's your turn. What would you like to do? Uh, I'm gonna be like, don't worry, Pliskin, I got this. And uh, I'm going to use my rare magic item that I got to take, uh, which is a Wand of Wonder. So I'm going to roll a D100 and see what wonder happens. Oh, no. Mm. Okay. Aiming at the horse. So I got a four, and a four means I cast slow on it. <laughs> um, okay. Right, which also means my sword disappears out of my hand. No, it doesn't, because I'm not casting it, right? It comes from the wand. Okay. Right, because right. okay. well, and and and, and even, even if it were the the sword is a concentration spell, right? Yeah. Is yeah. slow a concentration spell? It is, but since it's but not it, but but but, but it's being it's being maintained by the wand, right. so yeah, yeah, that's 
I don't know if that's if that's actually a condition where you can have two concentration spells going at yeah, once, but I'm either. gonna say for the sake of this that it is. It's, it's a, a dream. dream. Anything yeah. can happen. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess this also is gonna affect Pliskin because it affects six creatures in a forty foot cube within range, and I was targeting the horse, so uh, movement speed is halved, and they get a minus two AC penalty and uh, minus two to dexterity saving throws. <laughs> Can't use reactions, and um, on its turn, either as an action or a bonus action. Oh, it can only use action or bonus action. It can't use both. So speed halved, <laughs> minus two. <laughs> well, his his bonus action for the next round was taking it away anyway. So, <laughs> but yeah, but now he doesn't have a reaction or so. Cool, cool beats, friend. <laughs> Does anyone know why he's talking weird now? I hate you. <laughs> uh, the, the Sorry, harpies. I don't speak slow. The harpies are all dead. So, um, Heatcaster, what would you like to do? Well, I look at that, and I look at that. Ah, 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 ah. That's different. Mm-hmm. I will cast a uh, shatter on the horse. My groin. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> Oh. As your, oh, as your, oh, wait, as your DM, oh, horse, I will remind you? you that Shatter is an AOE spell. Yeah, you're on the horse, aren't you? <laughs> yes. Darn. My precious, precious girl. <laughs> uh, I guess I will... Uh, I'm sorry, I guess I've lost track of who's left. Uh, all, just all, the, the horse, right? Just the horse. All that's left at this point is the horse that all uh, okay, horse. sat on. All that's left is horse. <laughs> all that's left is horse. Okay. I guess I will. I guess I'll try. Oh, wait. The horse can't under. It's magical. Maybe it understands me. I'll try this and whisper the horse. Okay. Hey, um, hey you... your horseshoes are rusty. <laughs> and it's a wisdom saving throw? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 13. All right, that uh, doesn't make it. Guess I'm whispering up a... Uh, I'm the horse whisperer! I mean, it does understand you. I'll tell you that much. It understands... If, if you're speaking common, it understands you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that will be 14 psychic damage. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Is there anything else you'd like... Uh, Dissonant Whispers, Yeah, it also has to move, doesn't it? It's been a while since I've cast Dissonant Whispers. Uh, if available, it moves as far away from you as it can. Well, that's funny. <laughs> it's, at least it's funny. slowed, so it can't like carry me away. So, <laughs> for slow, are you able to take reactions? No. Um, no. Okay, because because you have to use your reaction for that, if I remember correctly. Yeah, reactions are yes, taken away it, with slow. Yeah, it must use its reaction if available to move as far away. Okay, so it won't be able to do that because because its reactions got taken away by slow. We're, we're just doing great here. Otherwise, it would be 90 feet that way. Shit. <laughs> we made like relatively quick work of the four harpies, and now it's going to take us like 20 turns to kill one horse. It's true. You know, if we could just entirely, get off the horse. Entirely possible. Um, so it's the horse's turn, and it's had enough of this shit. So it's going to take its action to rear up and try to shake uh, Pliskin off. Can't okay. wait to watch this in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> I would like you, Pliskin, to make me a dexterity saving throw, please. If you roll Come high on. enough, you, if you roll high enough, you stay on its back. That's a ten plus four, fourteen. Not quite high enough. So you 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 go tumbling off of its back Ooh. in slow motion. <laughs> Skin. <laughs> um, and it just it, so it can't. Can it move? Can move. It can move. Yeah, and it'll it, it it'll take the opportunity to move forty five feet away from you, insane people. And yes, that is its halved fly speed. That's yes. impressive. That is mighty impressive. <laughs> 
All right, uh, top of the lineup, Granny. So it's far away from us, yes? It's getting far away. Okay, I'm going to cast a f- my fireball. It's far enough away that it shouldn't hit us. You're right. You are absolutely correct. Um, that Dex- is a de- yes. Go ahead. Dexterity saving throw. I'm Which casting- it has a negative two on right now. I am yeah. going to cast it at fifth That's level. That's right. Oh, goodness. I rolled an eight. So cool. It roll, me some, roll me some damage, DB. Ah, I'll look at the sound. Okay, that's 42 points of damage. <laughs> what? <Hell. laughs> oh. What? <laughs> what? So the fireball goes off, and mm-hmm. there's this rumbling, thunderous boom as the fireball hits the creature, and it co- it goes tearing through the fire. It doesn't seem to have taken any damage at all. Son of a bitch. Uh oh. No. That's unfortunate. I should mention now. Points of damage. I should mention now for those playing at home, it's a nightmare. God, Tiana. Ah, uh, nightmare. I get it. That's a good bit. <laughs> yep. For those playing at home, a nightmare is immune to fire. I was I was about to be I was actually about to be very pleased because I was about to be like man you got it down to one hit point it's cool this that and the other and then I looked at the sheet again and went oh yeah no. <laughs> oh Emily. no oh no um, All right. Pliskin you've had your reactions taken away you can't take a bonus action this turn you are in a rage and all you're left with is an, is an action what would you like to do if I'm in a rage that means I can't cast spells right correct. Fuck. <laughs> uh, <laughs> guess I'll just like go, Why won't you love me, beautiful? So try and fly after it. You're going to chase after it? Yeah. All right. So you get 25 feet after it because you have a fly speed of 50 and you're still 20 feet short of it. But, you know, you're gaining. How long does yeah. slow last? Uh, it oh can last minute. up to one minute or until I guess I use another charge on the wand. <laughs> well, I was also going, I'm going to say because you cast it, you can also dismiss it if you see fit. I don't see fit. I didn't figure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Randy Pepper, it's your turn. Uh, you see, Randy Pepper finds this entertaining, so he is going to sit crisscross applesauce in the air and just watch and abscond his turn. Okay. Um, he, he cast her. What would you like to do? I, uh, I look around and this is all very, very ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> it's a dream. Yeah, I was like, ah, I tried to spook the horse with pyrotechnics. <laughs> spook it back to me. Hey, horse! Hey! Hey! Hang over here! You're trying to make it run away You're faster? You're just screaming at it like it's your annoying neighbor? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you making oh, you a- you fell off the horse. No. I just shattered the horse. He fell off the horse, right? I shattered the horse. Yeah, he, he, he fell off the horse. I shattered the horse. Randy's right. fallen off the horse multiple yeah, times in the past. I, <laughs> yeah. I o- I open up my chest plate and I hammer on my rib on my fake ribs like a hammered dulcimer, and I cast shatter. All right. Uh, what save do I need to make on that? The con save, which the horse is probably good at. What song does he play though? Uh, I play uh, what is it? Two shaves and a haircut. <laughs> Shave and a haircut, six bits. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's that's a fourteen. I suspect that doesn't make the. No, uh, so that that will be uh, 15 thunder damage. All right. Cool. It's it's looking about half itself, and it's not a happy critter. It's going to use its its uh its its uh, movement and its action to double move. So it's going to get 90 feet away from you guys. It's starting to get yeah. out of some some ranges. 
but not all of them. Of oh, actually, no. Excuse me. Um, it's 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 actually going to use its its uh, action to to use ethereal stride and step into the ethereal plane, vanishing out of your sight. Is that a spell or is that just an ability? That's just its ability. Okay. That's that, that that's how it and the harpies appeared in the middle of you because it stepped over from the ethereal plane. Fucking bitches. Hey, I'm, <laughs> Got are it. we out of initiative now? You are out of initiative. Fliskin spends the next six seconds at least being extremely angry and probably still slow until oh, yeah. until Randy decides to drop the slow. Uh, yeah, I think I, you got about 45 seconds of slow left in you. <laughs> just very slowly sp- swinging his rapier around his head and like coming towards you, gesticulating. I'm gonna go. Bastard! I just turn my back to him and start casually having a conversation with everyone else. So, uh... <laughs> He's not I, getting any closer, really. He's <laughs> slowly coming towards you. We all, we <laughs> loved, we lost. Not all of us loved. We, I we all like loved you. a little bit. I don't no, think no. we did. No, not, no I, I think we all loved a little bit. No, it was just you. No, no, I, I saw no, it in your no, eyes. It was just me. I saw it in your eyes. No, you didn't. <laughs> okay, so what's next? <laughs> is that stuff still happening at the mountain? Yeah, the stuff is still happening at the mountain. Is and as you turn to look at the mountain, uh, the minute the minute is up, and Pliskin falls out of the the slow and the rage. But that was early. Uh, you little. Uh, oh, hello. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's hey, fine. wasn't that wasn't that fun? I got it. I use this wand. <laughs> I hold up the wand. I'm gonna go towards the stuff. Or t- towards the, the the flying things up at them. The stuff. The we stuff. take flight. Whee! All right. So as you guys start to crest up this mountain, it gets a little bit chillier. Uh, a, little, a little bit chillier than you might have expected uh, at, at these heights, especially in the desert. Um, and I mean, again, everything's a bit off, a bit weird. And as you get closer, um, you start to see that that the that the, that the cloud appears to be a, sw- a small swarm of imp-like creatures. Fireball. So, they're about yay big with with bat wings. Fireball. <laughs> My God, don't. No. <laughs> yes. We have to make contact. No, we don't. My you, saw fi- hap- you saw what happened when you made contact last time. I feel like someone's village was tragically overrun, but that could be me. Uh, Dragon Bait, do you, do you want to cast fireball at these things? You do see, you, you do see, looking at them, that with with a, a twenty foot radius sphere, you can get most, if not all, of them if you time it right. Sure, go do that thing. You all right, I need a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> yeah, and their passive perception is crap. So, <laughs> Dex, you say? Yes. All right, I'm gonna run down my list. Uh, Seventeen. Oh, excuse me, that's a dirty twenty. Okay, that passes. Uh, 18. Passes. 30, 20. This guy's doing real good for me now. Fucking Thank hell. You. Uh, nine. No. So, one, two, three. Uh, five. No. 17. Yes. Okay. Uh, six. No. <laughs> I've. I love numbers. And eighteen. Yeah. All right. So one, two, three, four of them succeeded, and four of them failed. Roll me some damage. Well, those ones that succeeded take half. So let's see how this goes. It should be very interesting. It so thirty-one points of damage. Hey, Karumba. Have <laughs> have fifteen. Allow me, if you would, to paint a scene for you. (laughs) As you are rising up the crest of of this this mountain with all of the varied colors and the like slow pulse that's almost like a heartbeat, um, Granny Mabel Jean looks up and sees these flying imp-like creatures. And she waits with a steady eye and a steadier hand before shooting off a fireball into the middle of the cloud of them. 
hitting all eight of them at the same time. Some of them just vanish without with, with without a sound. About half of them. And the other half have time to scream before they vanish as well. Oh my god. You have cleared out the entirety of the imps and this weird like ash starts falling on the flat area on the top, which you still can't quite see because you're not close enough. Uh, I, say, I say, Granny, that's the single most brutal thing I've ever seen. In, and I've been a professional soldier for many years and, and a duelist after that. I'm Really, I mean, the wholesale slaughter of an entire cloud of beings like that. It was the most brutal thing I've ever seen. <laughs> the strategic Inside. military man in me says that. That was horrible. That was a war crime. But then again, I say that was awesome. <laughs> Good job. And then I go up and try to snort the powder. So, uh, so, 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 so before you before you start rising up, you hear this. <laughs> My pets. <laughs> and you crest up over over the side, and looking in. This is not a large area. It is maybe a 30 foot radius rounded area. And in the center of it is a very large nest, like a, a, a bird's nest with a single egg in the center of it. And sitting on the edge of, of the nest is an older woman, question mark. <laughs> she somehow looks older than Mabel Jean. What? <laughs> yeah. And she 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 like lurches up to her feet, leaning on a gnarled staff, still looking up at the pieces of the imps falling all around her like a disgusting <laughs> ashy rain. <laughs> and then as you guys crest over the side of it, she looks at you and says, Did you just kill my pets? No, that was some other rando that just went by. <laughs> Roll me a deception check. Can I back her up? Can I try? Oh, I'm very good at this. <laughs> You're good at deception. Yes. Natural twenty. <laughs> Eleven. So that's twenty-seven. Not good. <laughs> you didn't. Well, yeah. then you just got away with genocide. <laughs> You're not incorrect. Wait, by saying one sentence. Oh That's my all goodness. it takes. Oh my wow. goodness. I, I, I can't. Okay. Um, that is a propaganda machine. <laughs> yeah. So the lady look at you and say, well, if you didn't kill my pets, we have no business here. The business that I have here is between me and, and this lovely creature. And she reaches out and pets the egg. It's bigger than any egg you've ever seen before. If you'd seen like a dragon egg, it, it might be comparable in size, but you figure it's not big enough, it's not uh, small enough for the egg of, of any like medium sized creature that you can think of. What's the egg? <laughs> oh, what egg? <laughs> just a new toy of mine. She'll what be kind quite, of toy? <laughs> she'll be quite useful when she's hatched. Ew, is this what? like a cat toy or is this like a toy car? We don't, oh, what's a car? <laughs> <laughs> what's a car? I agree. Um, but what is it? What an odd question. <laughs> <laughs> no, the real question is if it's valuable, can I buy it? As I uh, attempt to roll persuasion. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, 23. There's no price that you can put on a good pet. But what is the pet? <laughs> Just a bird girl. No, no, you can't have the bird girl. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I did kill your fucking pets. And her eyes just go black. Oh, what a waste you. of a good lie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pluskin, Pluskin casts suggestion. On her. On who? On uh, a the, granny. The even older lady. <laughs> the even older granny. Just yeah. um, suggestion. Is that a charm? Uh, yes. Oh. Oh, 
back at the work. I'm, I'm, go- I'm going to save you the effort. She's immune to charm. Uh, She's either or an elf. Wah. Or an elf now. Wah. Wah. <laughs> no, no, not, re- not, not uh, advantage against. Immune. Oh shit. Well, actually, yeah, enchantment it doesn't say that it's specifically a charm, but yeah, it kind of is. That'll do. So I'll, I'll, I'll save you the spell slot there, friend. Yeah, it's fine. Thank you. Of course. Well then, if you want this this uh, pet of mine so much, and she and she 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 leans forward on her on her cane, come and get her. Roll initiative. Oh, okay. Fifteen Ooh. plus four, nineteen. I got a twenty plus five, twenty-five. Jesus. Oh. Yes, my child. Okay. <laughs> Good run, too. Uh, did anyone get above a twenty? Yeah, Sullivan. Yeah, I well, got yeah. a twenty-five. I, 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 I already got him. Anyone else? Oh, no. All right, uh, 20 to 15. Uh, 19. Okay. Uh, 15 to 10. 10 to 5. Oh, sorry, I, I got a 5. Yeah. Got a 5? How about you, Granny? Four. Oh my goodness. <laughs> can't, all my rolls can't be golden. <laughs> My goodness, you were at the top of the initiative last time and now you're at the bottom. It's mm. fine. I just kind of I just kind of love this. Rumbling. Also, I will I will tell you this. Uh, those of you who are who are using weapons, if they are not already magical, you can feel the subtle hum around them. <clears throat> just so you're aware. Hum. Bird girl is helping from inside the egg. <laughs> <laughs> Randy Pepper, lead us off. How far away am I? You are within about 30 feet of her cuz you're right on the edge of this. Yeah, how 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 far is my movement speed? So your your walking speed is your usual walking speed, your fly speed is 50. Okay, so I use my 30 feet of flying speed to dive down to the egg. And okay. I grab the egg. Like I give it a big fat hug. The egg is about it, it is about your height and too wide around to get your arms around it because it would need to be big enough to hold Rarity inside. <laughs> Unfortunate. And even even curled up small, she's she's a little bit too wide to, to to get your arms all the way around the egg. Um. But you would know that I, have, have, having looked and evaluated. So I'm okay, not gonna okay, take okay, that okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let me. Hmm. Okay. How about instead, I? How far is the egg from the side of the cliff? Um, probably about thirty feet. It's it, it, it's tucked up against one of the edges. Also, I apologize if you can hear my neighbor doing yard work. Nope. Thirty feet, you said. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they have no plan. <laughs> um. I do what I do best. Fire! And I cast Burning Hands. Uh, I, imagine, 30, I, I imagine you move a little bit closer to her before doing that. Uh, yeah, I got to move 15 feet towards her. Yeah. All right. Uh, that is a 15. Ah, uh, she gets it. So she's going to take half damage. Okay. Uh, so half of 13. Half of 13 is six. Nice. I round down. Uh, and th- I actually do have a plan, actually. Is this is the egg big enough for me to hide behind? Uh, you can get a half cover behind it. Like, oh, because here's what I want to know. If I misty step behind the egg, would it be mm-hmm. enough that she wouldn't, like, be able to spot me? So she's pretty close to the egg because she was sitting next to it and petting it. And now she's, like, standing next to it. Did Sullivan freeze for anyone else? Yeah, I lost no. connection for a second. <laughs> Your eyes got really milky white for a second there. It was really disturbing. Creepy. That's Randy Pepper taking over my soul. <laughs> oh, Jesus. As you do. But yeah, she is right Oh, next terrifying. Oh, Jeez, no. Oh, no. my God. What? what? You... Stop what, did that, what did you even ah. do? You put a background on. 
Um, uh, but oh. yeah, she, the, the, the hag is standing like right next to the egg. And, ah. and honestly, only the, the egg protection around it was, was all that saved the person inside from having to make a check. Okay, I will. That's my turn then. Um, all right. I got nothing else. Oh, I'll, I'll use the rest of my movement speed to f- zip the other direction. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Oh. Okay. I will remember that for next time. Oh, no. Um, she is going to uh, move up 30, 30 feet. So just like hobble up towards all of you. And she's within 30 feet of all of you. And she just sort of eeny, meeny, miny, mo. And 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 take and take an attack on Granny. Cool beans, motherfucker. With claws. Claws. The claw. Uh, that is uh, eleven to hit. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fair enough. And she like swears under her breath. Um, there can only be one Granny. <laughs> apparently. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that is the entirety of her turn. Cool. All right, uh, Pliskin, your turn. Um, and I mean, she is right up on you guys. I am going to uh, cast Flaming Sphere. Okay. Um, which summons a five foot diameter sphere of fire. Um, I'm, in this case, it's going to be immediately in front of me within range and last for the duration, which is um, it's up to one minute. So 10 turns. Um, if a creature ends its turn within five feet of my sphere, it must make a dexterity throw. As a bonus action, I can move the sphere up to 30 feet. If you ram the sphere into a creature, I would like to ram the sphere into a creature. I would like to okay. Ram um, I, I will point out, though, that if you do it like in front of you, pretty much all of you are within five feet of it at that point. Yeah, that's fine. Mm-hmm. You may want to conjure it behind her. Yeah, sure, whatever. I mean, I'm going to be moving... <laughs> I'm going to be moving into it anyway. So if it conjures behind her, I need to ram it into her to All right. make, her, make her do the action. So it's a DC 13 deck save. All right. Uh, that is an eight. Okay. So she takes 2d6 fire damage. Uh, that's eight. Also, I then action surge and sprint into melee. Uh, with the flame tongue rapier at the ready. All right, make an attack. That's a 15 plus 7 is 22. 22 to hit. Uh, 15 plus uh, 7, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's a d8. So 4 plus 6 is a 10, plus 2d6 fire. Uh, sorry, uh, what, 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 what's, the, what's the base before the fire? Uh, 10. 10, thank you. Plus. 11 fire damage for the first attack for the action surge. Uh, second attack is uh, 18 plus 7, so that's 25. Uh, flat 1 plus 6 is a 7 on damage plus the 2d6 fire. 10, 16 on the second attack. All right. All right, and uh, on those two attacks over 15, um, two things happen all at once. Bad. Because you keep rolling over 15 with, with your attacks. Well, I never did use the between one and five, did I? You know, whatever. Um, Didn't you? I think I did, actually, you're right. Yeah. You, guys, you, you guys just haven't made a lot of, like, attacks. You do a yeah. lot of uh, saving throws. Um, first, as you as you come through with, with with this last shot, you like lose your grip on your sword, and it goes flying a, a, away for you from you for a second. Oh, bugger! <laughs> but at the same time, you 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 know how Riri moves, and how and how she uh, occasionally seems to pull power from the universe to do something a little bit extra. You feel like you can do that too, but only once. You have a key point that you can spend as you see fit for either the general uh, monk abilities or the drunken master abilities. Okay, cool. Nice. Anything else? I think that will end my turn. 
All right, you're gonna have to spend an action to go and re- like retrieve your sword and come back. Sure, that's fine. I still this have the I still have the flaming sphere active too. Yeah. All right, heat caster. All right, I uh, I reach into my mouth, I pull out a ball of uh, of iron and I throw it at her. Things you can only say when you're a warforged. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. reached into my mouth and pulled out a ball of iron. Um, okay. Uh, so my my rare item was a iron uh, iron bands of binding, so I'm going to try to hit her with it. <laughs> okay. How do those work? Well, uh, if I make the attack roll uh, and I hit, she's restrained. <laughs> okay. I use well. my bonus action to speak the command word again to release it. Roll me an attack. Meh. <laughs> 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 something, something snivelly, right? Yeah. Why are you to? Oh, there we go. Uh, that'll be a 16. I rolled a 15 on the die, by the way. So. Uh, 16 misses. <gasps> okay. What? <laughs> but as as that as that thing misses and goes like clattering past her, you feel a little bit more, a little bit faster, a little bit more energetic, and you can take one more action immediately. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well, I guess I'm going to hit her with my sickle hand. All yeah. right. Meh. <laughs> 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 Roll me an attack. Uh, nat 20. A lot of meh. Good oh. story. I'm sorry, did you just say a nat 20? Yeah. Yes. Woo. All right. Ooh. Roll me some damage. All the damage is... 13 damage. 13? Yeah. And and then roll me 4d6, please. Uh, nine total. Nine? All right. All right, so you uh, you 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 throw these these manacles, and you can almost you can almost feel your friend on your shoulder, like encouraging you to to do one more thing to try to, to try and get her free. And so you come through with that with that with that sickle hand as hard as you can, and it does a lot more damage than you expected it to. It just like cuts into the, the this hag woman and just like reams her open. It doesn't kill her, but she is. Very unhappy. Ouch. <laughs> uh, and that is. Is there anything else you would like to do? Let's see. You did your action, your bonus action, your extra action. Do you want to move? Um, I'm turn. gonna move so I can uh, sit on the egg. <laughs> All right. Are you are you going to walk over there or fly over there? Things that you can I only fly in a DC game. I will fly over there and then I will try to incubate the egg with my metal body excellent cast, uh, cast some heat from those buttocks yeah she will she, she will she will be able to get an attack of opportunity on you since you're leaving melee range with her yep. all right uh and i strongly suspect a 13 is not going to hit you nope all right so you are settled on on, on top of this egg and uh, you you are wanting to send heat down into it to try and warm it up. It's already pretty warm. Like you sit on it's not it's not, it's not like sitting on a stove top, but it's like sitting we'll on top not. of 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 a sun warmed rock. And 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 you you see the, all of the environment around you like pulsing, and you can tell that it's pulsing in time with the the, the pulsing sensation that you're feeling from the egg. Okay. All right. And last but not least, Granny. Cool. Is she within 30 feet of me? Yes, she is very close to you. Cool beans. I'm going to witch bolt her. <laughs> Excellent. Sinister. You may want to back up uh, five feet because she did make the uh, 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 melee attack on you. So she's within melee of you. Okay, yeah, I'll back up. Okay. I don't care. And- 
I mean, she will get that attack of opportunity, but she's been historically bad. Whatever. At yeah, no, she rolled a nine. Ten, yep. excuse me. Yep. <laughs> um, that is a 17 to hit. 17 hits. Yeah. On the, on the nose. That's the magic number you're looking for. Cool. 12, 40, 12 of damage. Oh my gosh. Maker. What level did you cast this at? I only have because oh, I'm you're a warlock. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So that is. How does that work? What? Wait a minute. So you do 4d12 of the initial damage, and then as a, and then as an action every turn afterwards, you can do another d12 of damage. Right. What I'm trying to figure out is why it rolled more than four on D and D Beyond. Oh, I don't know. Because it's saying 21 points of lightning damage. How many how many uh, d12s did it roll? I don't. Well, oh, it added a d20 for some reason. Never mind. It is five, four, nine. Sorry, I'm mathing. 14 points of damage. I don't know why it added a d20 of those weird beards. That is so interesting. Oh, it, it, it probably rolled uh, for the attack at the same time as the damage. So random. I've never had it do that before. It's dumb. Yeah. It's, it's definitely still in... Uh... Yeah, they're still Hate working him. on it. It's fine, but it was just kind of like, what the hell? Right. Um, all right. It is now her turn. Assuming you're not doing anything else? I can't do anything else. I'm a warlock. <laughs> That's fair. <clears throat> Bring it, bitch. <laughs> all right. She's going to look around at at the four of you and do that eeny, meeny, miny, mo thing again. And this time she's going to point at uh, <clears throat> at Randy Pepper. I had a feeling. <laughs> You've got another date, Randy. <laughs> God, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> and she is going to cast a, a spell at you. I like to see her try. Uh, that's a 19 to hit. Um... Yeah. You tried pretty yeah. good. <laughs> you tried real good, man. So yeah. a black beam of energy springs out of her finger when she points at you, and um, you feel yourself getting slower and weaker. Uh, you have just been hit with Ray of Enfeeblement. Um, mm. You only deal half damage with weapons attacks that use strength until the spell ends. It is con- it is concentration, yes. and on and on and at the end of each of your turn, you can make a con saving throw against it. Okay, that's unfortunate. <laughs> she, she looked around and went, "Muscle bound idiots. Who do who do I go after?" That's Randy. <laughs> All right, and that is the end of her turn, Pliskin. I is she still in? Am I still in melee with her? Or she moved out of. Yeah, she's she, she's she's in melee with you. Okay, well, I'm going to spend that key point you gave me to disengage and then go after my uh, sword. Um, okay. And then with my bonus action, hit her again with the flaming sphere. All right. So it's a, was it DC 13 deck save, I think it was? Let me look deck save? Here. I think so. Uh, she just... Uh, yeah. She just missed it. Okay. So Got a 13. 2d6, two, two that's uh, eight fire damage she takes from that then. All right. She's definitely looking um, about two, two, uh, a third of herself at this point. I think that does it for my turn. Because, uh, yeah, retrieving my sword was the primary action that turn. Yeah. All right, heat caster, your turn. Okay, uh, let's see here. I uh, would like to continue staying on the egg, first of all. Uh, and uh, is anyone out there looking hurt at all? Did I miss a turn? Well, shoot, I think, I yeah, you were top you. of the order, weren't you? I'm sorry, I, I, I missed you. Yeah, sorry about that, dude. So, That's quite okay. I was just going to so, do some dumb shit anyway. 
I mean, as you should, but you, um, if you guys don't mind, I'll, I'll rewind it so that um, your, act- your, your, uh, your turn comes before the Ray of Enfeeblement hits you. So you, so at oh, this moment- Oh, is it supposed moment, to? Yeah. Oh, okay, fun. Um, yeah, you're, you're top of the lineup, so it would have been before her turn. Okay, I'm just gonna do some quick dumb shit so this won't take long. I'm gonna <laughs> use my movement to just go like as fast and quick as I can. I'm going to shoot myself forward with my fly speed like a torpedo towards the egg and do the sheath Palpatine in Star Wars Episode Three, where he just like corkscrew spins in the air while pulling out a hand axe, and I'm just gonna try to chop the shit out of the egg as I land on it. Make me an attack roll. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I got a 15 plus 6 is 21. I mean, that hits. Oh, I rolled a 15. You did. <laughs> yeah. You told us to tell you. <laughs> I appreciate that. I, I definitely appreciate Oh, that. my gosh. I remembered. <laughs> All right. Uh, you hit. Roll me some damage. Okay, so I do a D6. Uh, so that's five plus six, so 11. Damn. Do, 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 do. All right. That's where his biceps come in. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, you hit the egg really hard and you can see like a crack starting to spread up and underneath where Heat Caster is sitting. Um, it's it's definitely not there yet, but you're definitely starting to make to make some progress. Hey, and Heat caster, do a couple bounces. Um, and and also upon rolling that fifteen, uh, you you have lost the ability to take bonus actions for the next round. Woo! <laughs> Wait, so the fifteens are bad too? Oh, it's man. a dupe. It's a prank. It's a triple workaround. I'll, 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 I'll explain the conceit behind it afterwards. Lame. Um, okay. Rolling Dang. forward through what, what, everything that already happened. You get hit with the Raven Feeblement. Heatcaster, now it's your turn. My apologies. Uh, yeah, I kind of like look down and go, oh no. Uh, <laughs> I tried to peek at the egg like, yo, are they okay in there? Ugh. Uh, all you can see is a thin crack, kind of like a, a windshield that's gotten hit by a rock, but you can't see through it. Heatcaster, I had a dream exactly like this once. If we crack open the egg, bird comes out. Or an omelet. <laughs> <laughs> that's a risk I'm willing to take. <laughs> oh, uh, can't, yeah, I can't uh, go forward any Randy Pepper risks. Uh, so... <laughs> Uh, I'm going to uh, check and make sure anyone needs uh, needs to be healed. Um, yeah, how is everyone saw, doing? A little, a little I bit. am at full health. No one can hit me. I've only lost ten hit points, so I, I, I lost fifteen. It's a real yeah, good time to be an old woman. Yeah, I will uh, pull out a flute and play some sweet notes on the air and uh, do a healing word. It's kind of like a Kenny G, like, you know, thing. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. How much uh, healing do they, do, do they get? Let's see here. From that, they will receive... Uh, eight. Ooh, thank you very much. Nice. Excellent. Is there anything else that you would like to do, Heatcaster? Uh, well, my actual action, I would just like to uh, kind of open up my chest and kind of like start a little fire, you know, like a uh, little cantrip, just, just uh, create bonfire on myself. I won't hurt the egg. I just want to like, you know, if I take some damage, that's fine. I'm just kind of like, you know, using myself as a brazier to heat the egg. <laughs> <sighs> I love it. Yeah, I think I think you're gonna be, you're, 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 you're gonna take one d six fire damage from that, that's fine. but it's cool. That's fine. Uh, so that's three points of, of fire damage. Just the look on your face. Incredible. <laughs> like, hmm. I, I don't often think about people like starting fires on themselves, but also sh- warforged. How do I adjudicate self-immolation? <laughs> uh, 
sentences I never thought I'd have to ask. All right, Granny, your turn. I'm gonna hit her with Witch Bolt because I just need to make it go zappity zap again. Witch Bolt. Zap. Get yeah. it. So the holy shit. Okay, the damage is thirty six points of damage. Hold on, it only does one d twelve after each of them, doesn't it? For for, for for each turn going forward. You're just maintaining it, it, or you're casting it again. I was gonna cast it again, actually. Oh, you want to cast it again? Yeah, 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 yeah. So oh, okay, sorry, I didn't catch that. Yeah, no, it's seventeen to hit, which you told me hit before. Seventeen hit. Sorry, I didn't, yeah. I didn't catch the rest of that sentence. No, I figure this is big bad. I might as well use spell slots. It's true. Um, so that was what did I tell you? Thirty something. Thirty six. Thirty six. Yeah. Um. DB. Yes, ma'am. Tell me a story. How 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 does it end for her? Oh, listen. I look at her and go, there can only be one granny. As I lasso this blue thing around her and it just zaps her and fries her to a crisp. I get to murder a lot wow. of things this episode. I'm very happy. Wow. <laughs> Whew. And probably the, the second most brutal thing I've seen in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mess with my grandkids. Have you, you considered a therapist? Cloud of imps was really quite something, but uh, so seeing as, an old lady as, charcoal, as, as, char, char, char broiled in front of me was really oh. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, as as she as she dies, she like turns into a wizened, not even really a person anymore, a wizened like fleshy thing. Before and shrieking the whole way before falling and dying on on the ground, and as heat caster casts heat <laughs> through his metal body <laughs> down into does. the air, <laughs> um, you feel it start to shiver and shake under you before a very ominous cracking sound can be heard, and it's it's louder than it feels like it has any right to be. It sounds like gunshots going off as the cracks oh. start spreading across the egg. What would you like to do? Uh, well, you know, now that it's uh, cracking, I, uh, I I jump back off of it, and uh, you know, um, I don't really know what to expect, but I guess ready to help something, you know, get away from the goo inside of the egg if there is any. Uh, yeah, so being a very doting motherly robot today. <laughs> I love it. So as, as, as you're backing up and like waiting to, to see what happens, you see a, a familiar clawed foot just like kick hard at, uh, uh, at the shell, sending a piece of it flying yeah, yeah. Up, uh, uh, up into the air. And a moment later, the whole thing just cracks and breaks open and Riri comes tumbling out and it like lands on her back looking up at all of you like, oh, hello. Hey, Riri. You have some weird shit in your brain. What's the deal with those flaming horses? <laughs> oh, the nightmares. Well, I ran across oh, them once, the and the they, were really, they were really scary, and I have nightmares about them, so they show up in my dreams sometimes. Perhaps. What about this bitch? I kicked the corpse. <laughs> well, when I, when, I, when, when I was a chick, this actually kind of happened. I'll tell you the rest of the story later. When you were a chick, uh, we all showed up <laughs> and annihilated your mom. Your grandmother? Not, not, not that. No, she's not my grandmother. She tried to uh, turn me into one of her lackeys when I was in the egg. Sickening. It didn't work. Some, some uh, uh, my, my, my mother actually came back in time, but in my dream, I was stuck again. So. Am yeah. I your mom? We're all yes. her mom. <laughs> Good thing we were all here to make sure causality didn't fly him up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, that, and, and that's where we're going to call it for for today. Uh, Two we successful went. dreams. You you have Ooh. woken both both Riri and Pliskin at this point, and Riri is is uh, raring to fight and ready and ready to get out back in, uh, into the combat with the Jin when the time comes. Um, this has been a lot of fun, you guys. Thank you for indulging my weird uh, dreamscape fantasy thing going on here. We should oh, probably sure. roll to see who gets it next. Should we just all yeah. roll a d20 and who gets the highest? I mean, well, me, yeah, that sounds fun. Me and, 
Well, yeah. me and Durundu don't. Yeah, <laughs> we that's already did this. So let's just have the three of us roll a d20 and okay. see who gets the highest. Let's do it. Meh. I got a five. Okay. Ernest, what'd you get? 15. 12. Ernest cool. is next. Ooh, All right, Ernest, you're up next. Yes. All right. I pass it along to you, oh, heat caster. I hand you the torch. <laughs> Let's yes. see what kind of dreams this guy's got going on. What's I'm looking that forward that to it. I can't wait. Honestly, can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait either. I, I can't I'm so either. excited. So we've got five minutes left left in the stream. In that time, let, let's go ahead and plug all of our stuff, starting uh, with Ernest this time. I'll go ahead and start at the bottom. Hey, I'm uh, I'm Ernest. I'm uh, on Twitter as at high as uh, at Hall Invective. You can see that down on the screen. Um, I play uh, this on Monday nights and on Tuesday. I'm on uh, Other Doc's channel. Uh, we're doing Fifty Th uh, Fathoms, which is a uh, Savage Worlds setting, um, and it'll be our last game, actually, of our mini series. So uh, uh -huh. come check us out. Hey, that's cool. All right, uh, Jirundu. Uh, hello, I'm Jirundu. That's G I I U N D U U. You can find me at Jirundu on Twitter. You can find me as Silas Lancaster in uh, Roll for Weird, and you can find me as the co host for Dice Talk uh, coming soon ish when we get a few more. Episodes hey. in the tank. As you do. Uh, Sullivan. Uh, hi, I'm Sullivan Harris, and you can find me at Sullivan J. Harris on Twitter. You can also go and check out the podcast, the D&D &D podcast I DM on, called Ravnik Avengers. The at for that Twitter account is down below, so you can follow it there. Um, it's a real play D&D &D podcast uh, taking place in the world of Ravnica, the plain wide city. And it also takes place in the eighties, which I didn't mention last time, which is kind of like the fun bit for our season two. Yes. Uh, it's so very it's like funny. Great time <laughs> travel, eighties, lots of like, uh, dorky music. Uh, it's a good time. Um, that's, that's what I have to plug. Cool. Dragon bait. Oh man. There's so much. Okay. So <laughs> I am a part of 20 sided adventures, which is a space podcast. That's also D and D. I am also a part. I am the GM for um, wow, roll for weird, a uh, monster of the week podcast. But I also am on a a, um, a stream, a charity stream on Thursday nights for Curse of Strahd with Nerd Asylum. Find me at all of the places, <laughs> and I am here on Monday nights. As, as you do. I also have a million and one things to plug before we let you all go for the night. Hi, I'm Tiana. Uh, I am most commonly seen over at uh, Quests and Chaos. I'm ignoring you now, Adam. <laughs> I'm most commonly seen over at Quests and Chaos. We are playing uh, Dungeons and Dragons. We play Call of Cthulhu. We've been doing uh, board games when we can, when we can all get together, which but there's a, there's a lot of backlogs of the, of, the, of the board game stuff. We're playing Rick and Morty tonight in... Yes three hours oh, uh, yeah. Rick and Morty versus D&D &D, which is always a great deal of fun tomorrow we're playing Call of Cthulhu in space with the Chaos Agents at 7 o'clock Pacific I'm hoping that, that my, my little NB bean doesn't go insane but it isn't looking good for them and then on Saturday we play uh, Call of Cthulhu the real Call of Cthulhu according to uh, Ezra because sure why not <laughs> Uh, where we're uh, hoping to get the heck out of Shanghai before a giant uh, magic gorilla tears us all to pieces. Because that's fun. I am also Misty the, on Roll. That's on a valid Rolf. reason for leaving as well. Yeah, <laughs> it's a great reason to leave <laughs> when an angry thousand pound magical gorilla wants you dead. She she legitimately threw one of our party members a thousand feet into the into the ocean. <laughs> wow. Who wound up making a perfect dex dex throw and and did a perfect dive into the ocean. Yeah. Damage from it. <laughs> that person, because damn, I was impressed. Like we were all sitting here going, Amy rolled well. What happened? <laughs> what universe are we in? <laughs> Uh, but I'm also Misty on Roll for Weird. I am the spell slinger who uh, uh, fights fire with fire magic, as you do. Um, and I. I tried. 
I think that's everything that I have to plug at the moment. So hopefully Adam is actually paying attention so we can get, get the heck out of here. Um, this has been Dungeons and Dreamers. Next week we'll be back with Ernest uh, leading leading the charge. I'm very excited for this. Yeah. And Ooh. we hope you guys all join us then. And until then, have a great rest of your day. Bye. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye.